I am delighted to extend best wishes for the festive season to my constituency of Babono and the public servants whom I have the esteemed privilege to lead at the Ministry of the Public Service, Home Affairs, Labor and Gender Affairs. To you, my beloved Babono family, my dear constituents, since my last Christmas message, many of our ideas and projects have borne fruit and we, through our collective efforts, and of course, with the help of the Almighty, have overcome several hurdles. Resilience and determination have always been the way of life of the people of Babolo, and this is what will continue to keep us as a family. Over the last year, we have realized many projects and programs at the constituency level and the ministry that I had. In the new year, 2024, there are many other projects in the pipeline that you will be called upon to be part of. After all, as your parliamentary representative, my approach is to ensure that you, my constituents, are part and parcel of whatever is happening in the constituency. I applaud our energetic and charismatic youth movement in Babylon and you should keep up the good work. As parliamentary representative, I am proud of you, young people. With your continued support and involvement, we will continue to make notable strides. I also recognize the mothers and fathers and hardworking farmers who continue to make sacrifices for the children. I salute you, our senior folk, who have laid the foundation and who continue to be pillars of motivation and endurance, you are dear to my heart. I wish you the joy of Christmas. All who work within the walls of the various entities in the Babono constituency, at the police station, the fire station, the schools, churches, health centers, post offices, and private businesses. My government, under the leadership of the Prime Minister, Honorable Philip J. Pierre, and the Cabinet of Ministers, who take the welfare and security of the citizens and visitors to our shores very seriously, and in the new year, you will witness the unfolding of several plans and projects in that regard. Bravo to our law enforcement personnel who have been the recipients of much deserving support from the government. And throughout this year, in particular, law enforcement has been on the front burner. In addition to equipment and vehicles, extensive works have been ongoing on several of our police stations and fire stations. Construction of the $35 million Northern Divisional Police Headquarters has begun and the Southern Divisional Police Headquarters, which is about 90% complete, should be ready early in the new year. It is noteworthy that finally the Immigration Department will be relocated. This office space should be fully operational within the next two weeks, bringing an end to the inordinate delays. I am pleased to announce that the other departments have been holding on to deliver service to the public on gender, labor, and public service. We have started the transformation of Babono Central and all the communities in Babono have started receiving support in the form of infrastructure, the farmers, community buildings, and employment creation for many constituents. Those are just a few of the initiatives and plans by my government and as parliamentary representative for the Babolo constituency. In keeping with our putting you first mantra, the government of the St. Lucia Labour Party will be keeping you informed 
as partners in the development of this country. In conclusion, I would like to thank my immediate family, especially my husband, for his encouragement and support, my friends, the constituents of Babono, the Honorable Prime Minister and my colleagues in Cabinet, staff of the Public Service, Home Affairs, Labor and Gender Affairs, for your commitment to service to country. To all the citizens of St. Lucia and those in the diaspora, I want to wish everyone of you a Merry Christmas and prosperous 2024. We have realized some successes this year, and I implore you to work with the government as we move forward together to build a new St. Lucia. Merry Christmas to all of you. Mwavle souhaite tout moun a babono ek a St. Lucia bon noel ek nou ka travay pou nou gade l'ane nef la 2024. Avec moi, je voulais souhaiter tous ces gens qui ont travaillé et puis moi, ministre, à la ministre de Public Service, à la ministre de Labour, Gender et Home Affairs. Je voulais remercier tous les gens de Babono, toutes les familles, tous les gens qui ont fait un support pour l'année. Nous travaillons ensemble à nous demander bon Dieu la grâce pour l'année 9 là qui est venue à nous mettre en silence. En nous passant un bon Noël, et m'a dit bon Dieu pour santé, avec à nous célébrer un jauté qu'on nous a gardé pour l'année neuf là. Bon Noël tout le monde, et bonne année qui est venue. Merci.